75,000 years ago, humanity almost vanished. The entire human population dropped to just a few thousand individuals. Imagine a world where all of modern humanity, every person you know, could fit into a single small town. This wasn't a meteor or a monster. It was something far more insidious, brewing deep within the earth. Suddenly, the ground shook. A mountain in what we now call Sumatra exploded. This wasn't just any volcano. It was the Toba Supervolcano. The sky turned black. Not for a day or a week, but for years. Ash choked the air, blotting out the sun. A volcanic winter gripped the planet, plunging temperatures by up to 15 degrees Celsius. Plants withered and died. Animals starved. Our ancestors, scattered in small tribes, faced a world of perpetual twilight and freezing cold. Finding food became a desperate struggle for survival. Every sunrise, if you could even call it that, was a fight against starvation, against the relentless cold, against the growing darkness in a world that seemed to be ending. They were pushed to the absolute edge of extinction, huddling in caves, watching their numbers dwindle. They survived by a thread, but here's the twist. Recent studies suggest that while Toba's eruption was catastrophic for the environment, its impact on human populations might not have been as devastating as once thought. Some groups of humans, particularly in Africa, seem to have weathered the storm surprisingly well, using advanced cognitive tools and social networks to adapt. This resilience, this ability to innovate under extreme pressure, is what saved us. It forged the adaptable intelligent species that would one day conquer the globe. Our greatest catastrophe might have been our defining moment. We didn't just survive. We emerged stronger, smarter, and ready to inherit the earth. And the echoes of that ancient struggle are still written in our DNA today. Thanks for watching.